Hi, my name's Kat and I just want to talk to you a little bit about how I overcame emetophobia with the Thrive programme. So basically before Thrive I had really pretty severe emetophobia, which is a phobia of throwing up and it coloured every aspect of my life. It impacted on my education and my career and it impacted on my friendships and my relationships and my relationships with my family because all of my time and all of my energy was spent just worrying about and obsessing over whether or not I was going to be sick and it made life really pretty grim. So on a kind of day-to-day -day basis that meant that I was taking an awful lot of anti-nausea medication, I took antibacterial hand gel and wipes with me wherever I went. If I'd been out somewhere I would disinfect all of my things when I came back in which led to me breaking two mobile phones, they really don't do well, getting wet on a regular basis and sometimes I was washing my hands in straight bleach because I was so worried about germs. I refused to eat meat or fish and I refused to eat out in restaurants because I was so terrified of getting food poisoning and I basically just avoided any and all situations where I thought there was a chance that I would either be sick or catch something. And if I ended up in one of those situations, I would do everything I could to escape it. Um, I also developed some pretty destructive coping behaviours to deal with the anxiety, which um, had a massive detrimental effect on my life. So because things were pretty tough, I tried a lot of different treatments and therapies. I tried CBT and exposure therapy, and I tried EMDR and NLP. I had hypnosis and I had acupuncture and eventually I saw a psychologist who prescribed me lots of different anti-anxiety medication and none of it worked. And most of the therapists and people who I was talking to about emetophobia hadn't ever heard of it and just didn't really know how to treat it. So by the time I found out about Thrive I was pretty sceptical I just didn't believe that there was anything that could get me over emetophobia and I thought I was going to be stuck with it for life. But I met with a really amazing Thrive consultant who, for a start, had heard of emet and knew all about it and had worked with people with emetophobia and I mean that was just a massive change. So we worked through the Thrive programme and she taught me so much about my thinking and how to change my thinking. I worked really hard on all of my safety seeking and avoidance behaviours and I stopped all of them and I learned that I had really quite low self-esteem and high levels of social anxiety and I worked really hard on those as well and by the end of the programme I realised that I just wasn't thinking about being sick, about whether I was going to be sick, I just wasn't worrying and obsessing over it and the first time I said to someone now that I don't have a metaphobia was just a massive, massive deal for me because I had never thought that that would be possible for me to get over a metaphobia. So life since Thrive looks really pretty different. I don't avoid situations that I would have in the past. I have been to a music festival and camped for three days and anybody who's been to a festival knows what the toilets are like and it was fine. I cook and eat meat, including chicken and it just doesn't bother me. I don't take anti-back and anti-nausea medication with me whenever I'm going anywhere. It just doesn't cross my mind to think about it. And I don't avoid situations that, you know, I would have in the past. So because Thrive has had such a huge impact on my life, I decided that what I wanted to do was to help other people with problems like emetophobia, so I have trained to be a Thrive Consultant so that hopefully I can help others to overcome their issues and just live a really thriving life.